This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted today to join with the Iceman Jason Cunningham. We've just had a fiery back and forth, you know, not only in the ring, we've had it in the media room as well. How how's things, mate? Yeah, things good. Everything's good. A bit of a drama show tonight. Um, yeah, take it all in. Something else add to the CV. We'll go from there. We're just talking about there about it's good to sort of get these narratives, you know. So you're you're heavily experienced in your career, you know, you've had back and forth before. But this one it seems a bit different. There's a lot of needle there. Is it sort of a good thing to have things like this where it's gonna get the public interested? Yeah, exactly. We need that. Obviously it's a big fight. It's a good fight. It deserves the uh, it deserves the hype, it deserves you know, people behind it and tuning in. Uh, he likes to sell it a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, like I said, regardless of tonight, just roll on the twenty you know, the twenty ninth of July. You've kept quite, you know, you are the Iceman, so you've kept it quite cool, quite collected. He's very, very confident, you know, he's very confident he thinks you beat you. How do you sort of respond to all those things and all the talk that's been had? Mate, what do you say? You can't get a word over him in the ring, can you? Even now, interviewing, he speaks up loud. So it is what it is. Let him have his little moment, and then all that matters is t- July the 29th, like I say. Uh, cool, calm, collective. You know what I mean? He's nothing I've never been in there before. I've been around the block a million times before. It's nothing, man. Let's just get in there and get, up, get to action. And when you have something like this, when you have a back and forth where it's you know something you're not used to, you can say that it might not affect you, but does this affect your preparation going forward in terms of the extra motivation? Motivation, like I say, yeah, it gives a little bit of fuel for the fire, but uh, you know I keep professional, it's as simple as that. So I'll let him do what he wants to do. All the matters, Monday morning, well, sorry, tomorrow when I'm back, I get back from Monday at 11 o'clock, I'm straight to that gym and working, working on Liam Davis. That's all that matters, that's all that counts. And you're, like I said, you're heavily experienced, you've been there with some top, top guys all around the all around the block. Do you feel like your experience alone will get you through, you know, and beating Liam Davis? Yeah, why not? What, what, what's he got that I've never seen before? What's he got that I've never seen before? He's about young and fresh. Well, listen, I'm, I'm still fresh. Still got, he was on about knockouts of one, one with Tete, where I've ever been knocked out unconscious. So, like, say what he wants to say. I'm still young and fresh. Not only that, I look after my body. Yeah, we're here today. He's a lot heavier than I am. Reason being, I'm always in the gym. I live in the gym. Um, I just live the life, and that's all that matters. And what do you make of his career so far when you compare it to yours? Yeah, he's done well. He's done well. He looked probably the best against Baluta. I'll give him that. But he's only had a couple of tough fights and tough tests. I've been there a million times before. So, you know, uh, just another challenge. One I'm looking forward to. And uh, like I say, I expect to win. And it's a sold out Telford, you know, he's, it's his hometown. I know you said before, you do have a quite good record when you go to sort of the Midlands. So, you know, I'm sure it's something that you're not affected by when you clearly, you're getting these away wins. I'm not bothered anyway. When I go there and they're all booing me, so what? We take it in a stride. I'm, all that matters is me and him in there. That's all that matters. And is it something that you, you look at, you look at the boos and you don't sort of, do you want to, do you want to play the bad guy in a way? Well, I don't know if you can play the bad guy with Liam Davis because yeah. everyone always messaged me privately says, I hope you knock him spark out. I hope you bash him up. So, um, is it the bad guy? Is it not? No, it's just, just going there and doing my thing. That's what it is. Jason Cunningham, thank you for your time, mate. Always a pleasure to chat with you. Thank you, mate.